What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS 6.1.3 down to 6.1.2, 6.1.1 or even 5.1.1. Now this is all going to depend on what SHSH blobs you have for your device. It's also only going to work for the iPhone 4, 3GS and iPod Touch 4th generation. So if you have one of these devices and you want to downgrade then just follow this tutorial and it's going to help you out. Now there's going to be a few things that you want to download before we start this process. And the first one is going to be Red Snow version 9.15 Beta 3. Next you'll need the IPSW that you're wanting to downgrade to. Now for this video I'm going to be downgrading to 5.1.1. Then I'll also say that I've had better luck downgrading to 5.1.1 than 6.1.2 or 6.1.1. So if you're going for an untethered jailbreak and you're having trouble downgrading to iOS 6, then just go ahead and try 5.1.1 if you have those SHSH blobs. Now if you don't know what your SHSH blobs are, what you have, then the way to check that is by downloading Tiny Umbrella. And just know that I'll have all the links in the description below for you guys to download all of these. So go ahead and open up Tiny Umbrella. And once that loads up, this is going to show you all the SHSH blobs that you guys have for your device. So if you get this little error message, just click OK. And you're going to make sure that you select the device over here in the left pane. Then you're going to click Advanced. And then you're going to untick Request SHSH from Cydia. Now make sure that is unticked. And then you're going to go to General again. And you're going to click Save SHSH. So it's going to go through its little process here and it's going to show you all the SHSH blobs that you have for this device that's connected. So you can scroll through here, you see I have 6.1.2, 6.0.1, 5.1.1. So what I'm going to be downgrading to is 5.1.1. So once you've done that, all you have to do is just X out of that. So really all that is for is to show you what you can downgrade to and help you decide which iOS you want. Now the next step in the process is just opening up Red Snow. And then we're going to click Extras, and then we're going to click Even More, and then we're going to click Restore. Right here is where you're going to select the IPSW, and I have saved mine to my desktop, so I'm just going to open it up from there. And if you want to prevent a baseband update, just click Yes. So now we're going to enter our device into Pwned DFU mode. So all you have to do to do that is make sure you turn your device off. And make sure your device is plugged in before you turn it off. Now we're just going to click next here. Now you're going to hold down the power button. One, two, three. And then hold down the home button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding it until it recognizes that it's in Pwn DFU mode. So you can see that it automatically went to the next step once it recognized that it was in Pwn DFU mode. So you're just going to let it go here. Now just to let you guys know, if you do get an error, the first thing that you need to try is just restarting the whole process. Just start it all over and see if it works. Now this sometimes can be a hassle, but sometimes things just go wrong and you just need to give it a fresh restart. So if you do it again, it's possible that it will work. Alright guys, so there you go, it's as simple as that. I have successfully downgraded to iOS 5.1.1. Now there is a small chance, whoops. Now there is a small chance that you will get an iTunes recovery error. If you get that error, don't panic. All you have to do, I'll show you. So let's just assume that I just got that error. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to open Red Snow back up. Make sure you close out of it. You're going to go to extras. And then you're going to click on recovery fix. Now you can see that I'm not in recovery mode right now, so that button is grayed out. But all you have to do is click on that and it should fix that problem. So if you just downgraded, you're probably wanting to get an untethered jailbreak. So if you want to do that, I'm going to go ahead and put my jailbreak for iOS 5.1.1 right here. 
is so you can click on that and if you downgrade to iOS 6 then you can click on this annotation right here I'll also put the links in the description below if you guys are watching on a mobile device and you don't have annotations so just go to the description below and check those out alright guys so I hope this helped you out and if it did please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe also don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates and if you haven't checked out my gaming channel go over there and stop by and say hey all right, guys, until next time, peace. Dude, no, 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 no. Just, God, whatever. This isn't going to work. It worked! No! Oh, my gosh! Go away! Oh, I can't move. Why can't I move? Oh, my God! No, 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 no. What's up, YouTube? This is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 20 city of tweaks.